Greetings, automotive enthusiast. Welcome to a beautiful day here in Kansas. Uh, off on another road trip rendezvous, and this is a, another edition of Bob and Brian Flip for a Car. <laughs> so Brian and I, my good buddy with Epicenter Garage, be sure to check out his channel, uh, are headed to St. Uh, Joseph, Missouri to check out a legendary, iconic Japanese muscle car. Um, man, I remember, I remember the first time I saw one of these cars, it was like it was yesterday. I'll get into more detail here in a little bit, but let's go ahead and jump in the car. It is about 7.30 in the morning, beautiful day. Bradford pears are blooming. Um, it's just, uh, it's gonna be an epic day, so stay tuned. Epic day, a little overcast, a little windy out today. There's actually some kind of high wind uh, gusts, but, uh, Let's see what uh, EuroAsian Bob has in his driveway today. <laughs> Got a real nice QX80 we just picked up. I love to buy, uh, I like to have one or two uh, big SUVs in stock because I like to use them to, to go uh, get cars on road trips when it's something that's maybe not uh, drivable. So anyway, Miss Becky, she grabbed the keys of that. She says, I'll be taking that, thank you. <laughs> so let's look over here and see. Uh, we got the Alto, it always just sits here. I just keep it at home, I love to drive it. And then we got the Capri out of storage yesterday. And uh, so time to enjoy the Capri. You're gonna jump in this guy and head over to Brian's right now. Horses are just peaceful. There's Romeo. Hey, Romeo, Romeo. <laughs> Becky's little stud colt there. And grandma, that's Bailey. We've had Bailey over 20 years. So, he's out there enjoying this beautiful day. I love this old car, 79 Mercury Capri RS Turbo. Uh, I've done a video on this car, and for those of you that haven't seen it, the uh, 79 Mercury Capri was my very first car in high school. I paid 1400 bucks for it, had 140,000 miles on it. And it was not a turbo, it was a 79 RS four speed. And of course, I wished it were a turbo. And uh, I milked cows to pay for that car. And uh, so oh, I would look, search and search kind of for years to see if I could find a uh, comparable car, or not, a, actually a better car, um, a turbo, and then one in original condition. And uh, when I found this thing, I could not believe it. It was just a 60,000 mile survivor and just in awesome condition and it's kind of funny because this old car no matter how long it sits in storage two three months you go and you hit the key hey boy it's gonna be a good day when you start off with hollow notes man <laughs> hit that pedal two times and hit the gas and that's it this car never fails to start <laughs> I love, there's your old school GPS right there. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is a time machine right here. It takes me back to 1986. So let's go pick up Brian and start this trip. <laughs> Check this out. This is hilarious. Look underneath the brake light when I give it gas here. <laughs> Look at that, turbo. Man, I'm having all kinds of nostalgia this morning. We got Boston cranking here. I'll turn it down real quick. But uh, my uh, best friend in high school, David Cleaver, he used to pick me up at a Burgundy Volkswagen Beetle for school in the morning before I had my own car. And uh, every morning he was cranking Boston. <laughs> What's up, David? Shout out to you, brother. Hope you're doing good. All right, made it to Brian's. Pulled the Capri into the Epic Center garage. He sells the Epic Center, but I call it Epic Center. And it looks like this is our car for the road trip to go shag another car. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go see what Brian's up to. Hey! <laughs> we meet again! Bob and Brian's road trip adventure, huh? Man. I told him we're going to go get another car and uh, Gonna flip for another car, probably, what are right? What you doing? The <laughs> sickness is like, you know, it's contagious. Oh my goodness. Oh. So I'm calling this Epic Center Garage. Epic Center. <laughs> Epic Center. <laughs> so I see we got 
The Porsche pulled out here, huh? That's what we're taking. We're taking a 91 to go get a 91. Oh. You gotta do that. Yeah, right? yeah, you gotta pair up. We're gonna see which one makes it back. Kind of like wine. Yeah. yeah, I know, kind of like wines to your meal, right? We got a pair of cars to chase. It's going to be a little tight with you and I in there. Oh, hey, you know, it just, it's a lot of fun. I love small cars, you know, oh. kind of like Chris Farley, fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it, man. Right. Well, we're rolling down the road. We are. We're, we're about a, what, an hour and something? Yeah, something like know. that. Time is flying. I know. What are we, We're just talking about stuff. What do you think we're talking about, huh? <laughs> Let me guess. It wouldn't be cars. Ch fine China? Yes. Fine yes. China and dolls? Yes. Probably. <laughs> fine China and dolls. No, no. Yeah, oh, cars. So Cars, cars, cars. So yeah. Brian keeps telling me, you know, it's like, well, what would you get rid of to buy this car or that car? And I'm like, man, don't do that to me. That's too hard, you know? I hate that game sometimes. I know. I like doing it to other people, but not myself. Yeah, yeah. When I reversed the tables, you got quiet. I know. I did get quiet. I don't like, I don't want to sell anything. <laughs> Oh, we are. That's uh, a dangerous game. Yes, we are a couple of sick puppies, but all's well. Headed to see this car. I haven't told them what car we're going to look at yet. Oh, you should. No, I know. No, it's we just a, it's a iconic. I call it a Japanese muscle car. Yes. You know, because basically the cars of the late '80s and then early '90s, you know, uh, late '90s. Yep. That was a, a muscle car revolution. Only it was Japanese. Oh, man, that era. Was, yes. Amazing. You know, it's really no different than the late 60s, early 70s, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, it's just Japanese based. Opening up Motor Trend Road and Track, Car and Driver, they had always test these the three cars yes. together and compare yes. them. And, yeah. Oh, and the nice. one we're going to see would a lot of times come out on top. Yes. Yes. It did. So. I, and it's funny because and one I, of us is going to end up with it. <laughs> yeah. I, told I don't him, know which one. I told him it's like a car. It's a flip. You know. It's, it's kind of like revisiting like the uh, RS6 Audi, you know? <laughs> That's but, right. But the, uh, um, so I was telling them where, uh, uh, I was telling them where, I, when I first saw this car, I can remember it like it was yesterday, okay? Yeah. I was driving down Kellogg, and it's back when we had stoplights at every, you know, Rock Road and all that stuff. So I'm literally heading west on Kellogg. Yeah. All right, and then on Rock Road, this car turned left in front of me. Yeah. And it's one of those cars, to me, an iconic car is the, the one that when you first see it, it just makes you break your neck, yep. you know? Oh, and if yeah. it doesn't have that, it's not like, oh, that car's growing on me. Yep. If, if a car has to grow on me, it's not the right car. Right. That's my, you know, if it You know instantaneous. Exactly. Yeah. That's the right, there's there's only, and there's only a handful of cars. It's like when we saw our wives, right? As, there you go. <laughs> hey, 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 smart I mean, guy, yeah. smart guy. This guy uh, knows very what smart. Doing. Heck yeah. <laughs> But I remember uh, the first C car, yeah. right? Uh, that was, uh, I never forgot that. Um, Am I going to cry when you're telling me this story? I'm going to feel so bad if I end up with this car. No, right? no it's a win-win. You know, it doesn't right. really matter. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know? Like... I mean, it's just one of those cars where, I mean, you found the car. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but... So it's just one of those two. Well, actually, where... one of my friends, one of my yeah. good friends found the car first. So I, I'm not taking credit. He was nice <laughs> enough to say, hey, you know what, Brian, if you want that car, go get it. Oh, man. So. But there's just so few cars I can remember. So the Z car, I remember that, right? That that blew me away. Um, then getting into the 90s and stuff, I remember the first time I saw the uh, the SL 500s, you know? Oh, yeah. In 1990 oh, yeah. On, on the showroom floor. That car was like, blew me away. And then an actual car that blew me away, believe it or not, was a CLS. The really? Show, yeah. Dude, that was... Think about it. That car's revolutionary. It was, yeah, when you saw Nothing your first like one that. on the road, yeah. it was like, holy cow. Nothing it was like that. The body line, or the roof line. Exactly. Yeah. The whole shape yeah. of the car. The original CLS, you know. Yes. And, uh, you know, but this car that we're going, though, and I've got a list of cars like that. Ooh, let's let the car sing. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that. Yeah, What's the exhaust on this thing? Uh, the Fab Speed. Oh, man, it sounds so good. Yeah, oh, bad. man. But, yeah, I've got a, I got a, you know, if I thought about it, you know, there's a list of cars that, like, that made a major impression on me. But this is one of them. And uh, what's interesting is it wasn't a brand new model, right? It was, yeah. a, it was an evolved continuation model, but it looked so much better than its predecessor. Oh, it was revolutionary. It, it still looks, Even though it was the same car. It still it looks was different. good today. It's oh. still, if it came out today, it would still draw, draw. Oh, yeah. It'd probably, draw sell, it'd probably sell like crazy. It probably would. You know, but, but it's, so, it's interesting because in the 60s, you know, the muscle car just died. 
because of regulations, yeah. right? You know what I mean? But, you know, in the uh, um, 90s and the 2000s, the Japanese muscle cars, they died because of a currency deal. Oh, well, right? Supras were 60 plus thousand dollars yeah. on the showroom floor and yeah. They, they priced themselves out of they, the market. Yeah, they, it just killed them. Wasn't there something with like the Japanese uh, uh, yen conversion yeah, yeah, rate? Yeah. It's like something went crazy. They got way out of whack. And, uh, you know, and so. 90s. These, this era of cars died, you know, for a different reason than the original muscle cars. But still, though, it was a it was a super a muscle car era. Yeah. And the interesting thing is the car we're going to see is the other two cars that was always compared against, one of which just skyrocketed in value, and it has been for quite some time. True. The other one has really started to jump up, and it has been for a couple years. And this is the one that's kind of lagged behind. Under the radar. Even though it's, I don't know, even though it's just, I don't want to say it's a better car, but yeah. the look-wise, it's just, it's, it's, it's a great awesome. car. It's just awesome. So oh. proportion, the proportions are great on it. It's it's amazing. And and the car, and the color is one of my favorite colors, pearl white. What are you pearl doing? White. What are you doing to me, man? Pearl white. What are you doing to me? I don't know. What are you doing to me? I'm not gonna shed a tear for you, man. Who's driving? Who's driving what back? You know, it's a win-win. You know. Oh uh, yeah. Jeez. Do I drive a 91 911 back? Or we may I? have to share this car. We're gonna have to rotate. We're gonna have to yeah, rotate. Yeah, right. Yeah, can you put two names on a title? Hey, is it, is it like uh, uh, joint uh, joint custody? <laughs> we'll just put white out on the title every month. You know, okay, it's, yeah. Oh, so can't wait for you guys to see this car. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're having a great road trip so far. Yep. Just cruising down the road. Uh, four hours uh, total trip there. Is it four hours? Ah, three and a half. Yeah. I'm running, you know, under the speed limit, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Don't pay attention to the guy behind the curtain. We're right? in Europe right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, this Mexican road is really paved it's well. It's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can't believe how nice the roads are in Mexico. It's, it is. <laughs> well, you guys, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we're at our destination here. Brian's going to see if he can uh, turn off the hot box. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to use You didn't tell us the heater was stuck right. on. Yeah, <laughs> so here's why we're here. 90... One 300 ZX twin turbo coupe stick. Check it out. Very nice. All right, so we're on the road back, and if you notice, we're together. But uh, I really didn't want to be with you. <laughs> it's on the way back. Well, what you guys don't know is I told Brian, I said, hey, they got a fun car, you know? So Brian picks out a car, it's, what is it, 80 degrees today? It's it's not it's not cold. Yeah, and uh, so not only does the AC not work in this car, but the heater won't shut off. <laughs> like, so it has heat coming through. And, but we but the good news is we got 50 mile an hour winds to blow through the car. That's true, and we back the heater. <laughs> so, yeah, tell them what you did at the gas station just now. Well, you know, Walmart sacks can come in pretty handy when your heater will not shut off from your 911, so. You know, a little, uh, little, uh, little work in the engine bay, and we don't have a heater now, so blowing on us on an 80 degree day. So, Bob's much, you're much more manageable when you're not a hot and cranky. <laughs> oh, <man>. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. What's funny is just like the, it's so interesting. You know, the the, the hacks of a air cooled car. You know, because like in a other car, we'd be clamping off the heater core hose. That's, you know, that's very true. It's, it's just funny. Like, so Brian pulls off a pipe and then. Stuff, zip, zip ties and two Walmart sacks and we're good to go, man. That's awesome. But, well, hey, so, you know, you don't always just show, like, all the successful, you know, uh, road trip uh, rendezvous, right? So, I bet, I mean, what people understand is uh, for all of the cars that we find or buy, right, you know, there's cars that you go look at and it just doesn't work out. Now, Shannon yeah. was an awesome guy. He had nice a great guy. car. Yeah. You know, and he represented the car well and, you know, um, so we, you know, you just got to go see him in person, and that's kind of the good thing about not being too far away, Springfield. Right. But uh, three, and half, three and a half hours away. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But the new car needed some maintenance and stuff, and, and like I said, Brian was the uh, the, the go-to guy on the, on this car. Um, you know, wanting to, to play with it and drive around. But
But, uh, you know, just one of those things where, you know, sometimes, you know, you just got to walk away from the car deal if it's not right. It's nothing personal, nothing wrong with the car, nothing wrong with the seller. It's just not the right deal for us, you, you know. Right. But uh, I did have the address this time, so <laughs> it did not turn out like the Civic uh, video. At least we got to see the car this time. That, yes. That's and true. drive the car. <laughs> we did get a chance to drive it. I so. know. Sorry, I was so dumb. We went and took the car for a test drive. It drove great. And yeah. uh, I can't believe I didn't get the camera out and video that. So, you know, yeah. We're a little, um, you know, maybe it's the heat getting to us. You know? uh, I'm a rookie, so <laughs> I'm a rookie. Yeah. So here's a funny thing, though. So on the way to our car, I spotted a car on the side of the road. And uh, so... I don't know if I call it a car. Okay, okay. I, saw, I spotted a vehicle, a vehicle on the side of the road. And so... There's still hope, you know, I'm an optimist. I'm an eternal optimist and never say die. So uh, we're actually uh, gonna see, uh, try, maybe we pick up something else on the way home. I am hoping this works out because we'll I wanna see you drive that sucker back. <laughs> and I'm not waiting up on you either. I am not waiting up on you. When you see what we're looking at, you'll understand what I may have to about. push you up to speed. I'm prepared to do that. Oh my gosh. So, or out of the way, one of the two. <laughs> out of the way would be more appropriate. But So hey, it's not this road trip uh, is not a bust yet. We, uh, no. You know, we, we can still find something on the way home. We may find out the towing capacity on a 964. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Well, Brian, we're here. <laughs> this is not Japanese Central. Well, actually, this mm -hmm. vehicle is Japanese. But no, it is Japanese. Yeah. I think I'm turning Japanese. We're being led back in a shop. Yeah, uh oh. This is... Oh my gosh. Alright. So here is what oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh, oh my god. I don't know if that made the cancer Jackie. <laughs> it's so windy out here, I'm gonna have to shut the film off, but this is what we're looking oh, at. Let's check Go it out. It. Let's check it out. Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I guess the customer had to put a motor in it and then just uh, ghosted him or whatever. Really? Yeah, so they put all the money in it and the motor and then the customer won't come pick it up. So, mechanics have, lean on it? Yeah, I do yeah. a mechanics lean, take him to court, I guess, and then see what happens. But I'm gonna call back and give my number and I said, give me a call. It actually ran really good. Yeah. It's so It's so windy out. I didn't want to get, put you guys through that. I mean, the wind is crazy and, and right I now. I haven't seen it this windy. And, oh, man. It's like 50 mile an hour plus, probably 60 gusts. Dude, I got to keep both hands on the wheel. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. But yeah, so looking for a little uh, uh, K truck just for around the house for Becky for, you know, taking care of the horses and doing some hay and everything. And when me and Brian were uh, headed east, I was like, hey, Brian, the K truck, you know, and I got the, I looked up their phone number and called them and then uh, I said, well, we'll stop on the way back. So yeah. we'll, uh, darn it, I was, I was hoping that thing was road ready to make a deal right now. I could have left you back there. I know, right? I think that thing would have done, yeah. You know what? Maybe. That would have been a terrifying car to drive on a day like today. I'd been driving probably in the shoulder. I would have given you some sandwiches and given you a map for back roads. Give me a call when you get home. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we have made it home. We have made it home. Um, no together, car. Unfor yeah. together, unfortunately. Yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I really did want to see your face. I you know, know. For a while, I didn't think I could take Brian like all day, but uh, but here's the good news, right, Brian? Um, didn't get a car bought, but check this out. Brian has a 911 that just got is getting delivered. Tell me about yeah. this 911. Oh, 1972. It's been completely restored. Oh man. Uh, I don't say rat rotted, but it's yeah. in it. So I've had this car for a long time, oh. driven it for a long time. And Jim Hendricks, John James Racing yeah. is the best. And so he restored it and it is in that trailer. And I cannot wait to get it. Well, so there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow there today. Is. I'm not complaining. Let's go check this sucker uh, out.
Well, hey, even though we didn't come back with the car today, anytime you can spend the day on the road with a good friend, um, that's just a win in my book. Be sure to check out uh, Brian's channel, Epicenter Garage. I'll put a link in the description. And I uh, just hope you enjoyed this road trip rendezvous. A lot of fun. And uh, just, if you would, like and subscribe. We always appreciate uh, all the support for the channel. And as always, have a great day and happy motoring.